In this section, we will cover the graphs traversal algorithms or traversal techniques. We have already seen the implementation of graphs in Python. The graph traversal is a technique or a method of starting from a vertex and visiting all the vertices that can be reached from the start vertex. There are two efficient graph traversal algorithms. Breadth first search, which is also known as BFS and depth first search, which is also known as DFS. These two are the efficient and very important graph traversal algorithms in data structures. At first, we will see how breadth first search algorithm works. Breadth first search or BFS algorithm starts from a vertex and identify all the vertices that are reachable from it, that is traverse through all its edges and then start from the first reachable vertex identifying all the reachable vertices if the vertex is not yet visited. And this process of breadth first search continues until all the vertices are visited. We will take an example and, and look at a step-by-step -step procedure of how breadth first search works. Let us take start vertex as 0. We will define a queue to store the vertices that have been visited and we will also have an array or a list of number of vertices known as visited. This list is used to keep track of the vertices which have been visited. Now we will start from vertex 0 and this vertex is visited. We will mark vertex 0 in visited list as visited. We will enqueue vertex 0 and apply DQ operation. Dequeued element is vertex 0. We will find all the vertices that can be reached from vertex 0. These are the three edges through which we can visit three different vertices. The first vertex visited is vertex 1. This vertex is marked as visited and then enqueued. The next vertex is vertex 5 which is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 5 and mark it as visited and then enqueue vertex 5. And then vertex 6 can also be visited from vertex 0. And vertex 6 is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 6 and mark vertex 6 as visited and enqueue this vertex 6. Now we will dequeue another element and the dequeued element is vertex 1. We will now traverse through all the edges of vertex 1. Through the first edge we can visit vertex 2. Vertex 2 is not yet visited, so we visit Vertex 2 and mark it as visited. And then NQ Vertex 2. Through the next edge of Vertex 1, we can visit Vertex 5. But Vertex 5 is already visited, so we move further. We can visit Vertex 6. This Vertex 6 is already visited. And now the next Vertex that can be visited is Vertex 0 which is also already visited. Now again we apply a DQ operation which will DQ vertex 5 and through this vertex 5 we can visit vertex 2 which is already visited. We can visit vertex 3. Vertex 3 is not yet visited so we visit vertex 3 and mark this vertex 3 as visited and NQ vertex 3. Then we again apply DQ operation since there are still elements in the queue, the dequeued vertex is vertex 6. From vertex 6, we can visit vertex 3, but it is already visited. And there are no other edges, so therefore we dequeue node 2. From node 2, we can visit node 6, which is already visited. We can visit vertex 3, which is also visited. We can visit vertex 4. Vertex 4 is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 4 as well as mark vertex 4 as visited and NQ vertex 4. There are no other edges so we apply DQ operation again and vertex 3 is dequeued. Through vertex 3 we can visit vertex 4 but vertex 4 is already visited and there are no other edges from vertex 3. So therefore we again apply a DQ operation. Vertex 4 is dequeued. Through vertex 4, we can visit vertex 2. Vertex 2 is already visited. As well as we can visit vertex 5. Vertex 5 is already visited. 
and there are no other edges for vertex 4. Once the queue is empty, then the breadth first search algorithm terminates. So this is how breadth first search algorithm works. We will now look at how depth first search algorithm works. Depth first search algorithm starts from a vertex and select the adjacent vertices from start vertex. Visit the adjacent vertex and then repeat the above step again until there are no adjacent vertices and then the search terminates. We will look at the working of the depth first search algorithm by taking an example of the same graph. Here also the start vertex will be vertex 0 and we will have a list or an array known as visited with all the vertices. We will start the depth first search from vertex 0. Vertex 0 is visited and marked as visited in the list. From vertex 0 there is an edge to vertex 1. So we visit vertex 1 and mark it as visited. Then from vertex 1 we can visit vertex 0 which is already visited. We will visit vertex 2 and mark it as visited. Then from vertex 2 we can visit vertex 3. Vertex 3 is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 3 and mark it as visited. Then from vertex 3 we move on to vertex 4. Vertex 4 is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 4 as well as mark it as visited. Then from vertex 4 we can visit vertex 2 but vertex 2 is already visited. So through the next edge we can visit vertex 5. Vertex 5 is not yet visited. So we visit vertex 5 and then mark it as visited. From vertex 5 we can visit vertex 2 but this vertex is already visited as well as we can visit vertex 3 and this vertex is also already visited. There are no other edges through which we can visit from vertex 5. So we move back to vertex 4. From vertex 4 also there are no outgoing edges. So we move back to vertex 3. Vertex 3 also there are no outgoing edges. So we move back to vertex 2. Vertex 2 has an outgoing edge to vertex 6. And vertex 6 has not yet been visited. So we visit vertex 6 and mark it as visited. Vertex 6 has an outgoing edge to vertex 3. But vertex 3 is already visited. So we move back to vertex 2. And from vertex 2 there are no other edges to visit. So we move back to vertex 1. From vertex 1 we can reach vertex 5. But vertex 5 is already visited. We can also reach vertex 6. Vertex 6 is also visited. So we move back to vertex 0. From vertex 0 we can visit vertex 5. But vertex 5 is already visited. And then we can also visit vertex 6 which is also visited. Once all the vertices are visited and there is no more path to any other non-visited edge or non-visited vertex then the depth first search algorithm terminates. This is how depth first search algorithm works.